Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're exploring one of Italy's most iconic and breathtaking destinations, Lake Como. From charming villages and stunning villas to the sparkling waters surrounded by majestic mountains, get ready to embark on a mesmerizing journey with me. Let's dive in and discover the magic of Lake Como together. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join me on this unforgettable adventure. Welcome to this Lake Como vlog. If you found this video, then you are in for a Lake Como treat. Let's get right into this Lake Como fabulous vlog. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of our hotel room. We are staying at Hotel Belvedere. And this is a junior suite, I believe. It's really gorgeous. Wait until you see the view that we have. So super simple, we just have our bed, TV, uh, nice kind of like focus focal wall. Around here, we have the bathroom. So the bathroom goes right through here, which is nice, super cozy, uh, a double vanity, and a bath. Absolutely beautiful. Then the best part of our hotel is the amazing view of the lake. Let's check out the view. So gorgeous. So Hotel Belvedere spans from around there where you see those green and beige umbrellas come all the way around here. Such a nice, awesome, beautiful and perfect view of the lake. We also have a view from our bedroom that also goes out on a small patio. So come with me for our very first full day in Bellagio. The day before was actually our first day and we took a day trip to Switzerland. I'll share that in another vlog. But today, this morning, we are heading for a ride on the lake, a boat ride on the lake. And we are heading with Bellagio Yacht Experience and we booked it a couple weeks in advance. <laughs> See? Mm-hmm, okay. For me, well, you can't have any because you're driving, huh? Exactly. Oh, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, see, I'm a pro. <laughs> Cheers. It was so nice being out in the fresh air early in the morning on the ride. And though we did start our ride a little bit late because we were so tired from our day trip to Switzerland the day before, our sailor took us out, was pointing out some of the other adjoining towns in the Lake Como Bellagio area. So you have Menaggio, Verona, and a couple other towns around that you could see. He was so informative. He gave us coffee, as you can see right there on the table. I needed my coffee to like wake up. It was so nice and the weather was really great. It wasn't hot, it was windy, but it felt so good. Just sailing around looking at some of the um, important properties along the lake because there's a lot lot of really expensive and awesome properties One of the properties I really wanted to see on this ride was uh, one of the properties that Succession Season 4 was filmed at. I was so excited I got to see it. We didn't get to go up close because we had a limited amount of time because we started a little bit late. And then we spotted the Hotel Grand Tremiso. This is where all the celebrities stay. This is where if you have a lot of money, well, if you save up enough <laughs> or you put together your money, you can definitely stay here. It's so on my wish list.
we had such a lovely time on the water. You can do a morning ride or you can do like a sunset ride. And we absolutely love the morning ride. And um, Christina and her husband, they're just amazing, really nice people. So definitely, definitely recommend them. Going up these cobblestone stairs. Oh. And getting our workout in. And stepping on my pants because they're really long. So we just came back from our uh, boat tour and it was two hours. It was amazing. We had the loveliest guide ever. I have to say that she might have, I have to say that he might have been the nicest Italian we've met the entire two weeks we've been here. He was just so easy. We chatted on the boat. It was just like two of us, me and Lincoln, and, and his name was, what was his name again, babe? Federico. Federico was his name. He was really nice. And it was his boat, and he, I do believe, I'm not sure if he runs a company with his wife, or I don't even know, but it was just the three of us, and he took some photos of us. We chatted about different things you know compare culture and so on and just enjoy the scenery he's pretty really really knowledgeable about the lake area and also he knew a lot of like the places that i wanted to see which was so nice of him. it was just so nice and easy and a great way to start the morning initially we wanted to do a sunset uh boat tour just so we could grab the sunset on the lake but then they didn't have time for the sunset one and we ended up doing the morning one and it was so good it was a little bit overcast but that was nice too because the sun wasn't out and just beaming and just like burning through us oh, it's beautiful. So, much fun. so yeah it was really really good and um now we're trying to grab coffee at one of the shops just on the flat close to the water uh, before we go for our tour of Villa Melzi. So we're just grabbing some coffee because we had Prosecco on the boat. And I had two glasses without much food in my body. So let's get some coffee and then we'll head for the Villa tour. People are literally coming in and out for their day trips and we're like it's so crowded but we're like the people that go on day trips too it's so hypocritical of us <laughs> Once we're done with our tour, Bellagio is a little bit funny getting around. Like you go up, you go down. It's not flat, but it's quite a workout. They, there's no cars. You can't drive cars into Bellagio. There's a parking area, and if your hotel, if you're staying at a hotel, they'll actually send their cars to get you, which our hotel did. So you have to be mindful. Um, however, we just decided to grab something quick to eat before we head for our um, museum tour. This was about 11 a.m. in the morning. So right about now, it's starting to get a little bit busy with people who are actually staying on the island. I believe the ships started coming in with day trippers. And so this is just a little bit of how it feels in the mornings getting out. And we're literally in the center of Bellagio. It's super small but really busy lots of cobblestones lots of steps and stairs and little nooks and crannies as you'll see as we go throughout the video <laughs> So we booked a walk-in tour to see one of the villas on um, Lake Como 
and we decided to do Villa Metzi to walk in tour and we're meeting our guide right out front. Um, our guide was amazing. I'll put her information in the description down below if you're in Lake Como and looking for a really fabulous and wonderful walk in tour. Francesco Mercedes. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Francesco Mercedes. It was uh, the main owner of the, the villa, the one who, who decided to, to create this space in the villa. You cannot actually enter the villa, but you can visit the botanical gardens, you can visit the church they have on site, and a small little museum in the front. The villa was built in oh, neoclassical here. style, and the house is valuable decorations by Antonia Canova. It has a long avenue of plane trees. Um, it begins at the boat dock, and the gardens spread all the way and surround the villa. There are also so many exotic and rare plants that was um, transported into the villa and they actually grew, sustained the villa. It looks so beautiful and gorgeous all throughout. It's super manicured and well maintained. Our guide actually asked us how many people do we think um, is taking care of the property and I think we guessed like a big amount and if I remember correctly she did say it was like four people and that was pretty awesome and amazing to learn. dock area where the boats come in and also where you can take boats to visit a lot of the other little towns and enjoy like day trips from here but we made our way back took a quick little nap to freshen up before we head back out dinner um in bellagio lake como got changed got ready for dinner and we're in this jumpsuit from h&m with my belt and comfy sandals um we didn't quite make reservations and you know it's a small area it's not super busy I think it's busy with day tourists when they come in so I'm just hoping that we can just stroll through stroll down and find somewhere good to eat some dinner this evening we could have dinner at the hotel but we figured we'll just kind of like branch out and discover somewhere or, or whatever so super excited to go grab dinner I'll share it with you guys two different types of fish i can't remember exactly what i had but the menu was really good and the wines were just excellent and amazing just delicious how do you recommend so we are gonna try this abiago italian it's ice cream with chocolate and whipped cream i wanted it lincoln didn't quite want any dessert but I have to try this. I'm in Italy, so they brought us two spoons, and we're gonna do it together. I wanted to try the avocado, an Italian dessert with ice cream. 
coffee and cream. So the coffee is at the bottom. The ice cream is in the middle and the cream is here. We have two spoons so we can share. Full day, full belly, made our way back to our hotel to call it a night and get some rest and get ready for our next day in Lake Como, Bellagio. Okay then. <laughs> I can't remember here so no This is where we turn left and then the three people have come down for the bicycle. Mira Lago. Some grip. Where'd you pick it? Oh, why didn't you let me capture that? Huh? Why didn't you let me capture that? Could I? Hmm. Ready? No, I don't want to go back. <laughs>
you're having like a nice relaxing day after walking in the morning spending some time hanging out by the pool we decided to stay on property and have lunch at the hotel so we can experience the food there it was really good it was so delicious um it was nice just having a really good view and the impeccable service at hotel belvedere is just beyond it is really more of a it felt like a five-star treatment but it definitely is a four-star hotel if i remember correctly um but i highly highly recommend hotel belvedere for that beautiful lake Como so this experience. is a peach sorbet peach sorbetto with coconut sauce they just brought it from the restaurant to us so i'm gonna try this and see how it is so it's our last evening in Bellagio Lake Como and we're heading to dinner. What's the name of the restaurant again? La Punta. Uh, restaurant? Wrong way? They're telling me to go this way instead. We're trying to figure out our <laughs> GPS. Oh crap, yes. Oh no, we we're going the wrong way. Okay, so we we're going the wrong way. So we're gonna go eat. We leave early tomorrow morning. And I'm sad as to Yes, we are off to dinner again. All we did was walk, explore, and eat. We're in Italy, we're gonna eat, and we're having our last evening dinner at La Punta. And this is on a little bit on the on the further end of the town of Bellagio. And what a great find. Uh, Lincoln found this and it was like a celebratory dinner for my birthday because my birthday was going to be the following day after we got home. So I think this was the 6th and we're getting home on the 7th. So it's kind of like just enjoying a nice little birthday treat in Bellagio. Okay, so Lincoln's enjoying his soup, and I'm going to taste it too because he said it's really good. Mm -hmm. oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. How's the soup? I've had two spoons of it already. You said ten? Okay, let me not do so much. I see why. We should order another one. Oh, now you, now you want another one. Okay. So good. The soup was so good that I ordered my own. They only brought one spoon and I don't think I want to share with Lincoln even though I drank half of his. So this is the face he's making. Are you salty? <laughs>
So we both had fish, we both ordered fish, um, but then we kind of split it a little bit. Lincoln likes to put a lot of lemon on his fish, and I like to eat mine a little bit first before I put lemon on there. I have some sauteed spinach and some french fries, and we are still drinking our house wine, which is so, 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 so good. After stuffing our tummies with delicious food, we called it a night, we made it back to our hotel for our very last night in Lake Como. We did four nights in Lake Como. It was amazing, it was spectacular. Such a great place to relax, unwind, retreat, and really feel a very exclusive, gorgeous, classy, fabulous vibe on vacation. Loved it, and this that you're looking at is the lights from another of the towns. One last look at this view before we head out and head to the airport to go back home. And this concludes our time in Italy. Two weeks in Italy was amazing. Definitely check out my other vlog, Rome, uh, Florence, Tuscany, Venice, and also a Switzerland vlog coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your favorite parts of this vlog. See you in the next one. Bye.